So good morning, everybody, and welcome to the JMO, the Joint Morris Organisation's Virtual Day of Dance 2021. And our first workshop for today is The Backer Pipes, which is going to be beautifully taught by Rachel Cole Wilkin of Bells of London City. So I'm going to hand straight over to Rachel. Thank you, Pauline. Uh, good morning, everyone. If you haven't already, you will need two objects over which to dance. Um, if you have traditional clay pipes in your house, that's fantastic. If you don't, I will be using pies, wooden spoons work great, or you can use imaginary objects. Really, the only criteria is that you will injure neither yourself nor the object if you accidentally tread on it. Um, so if you haven't already, go ahead and take a moment to find those. Because this is the first workshop of the day, I am going to start us off with a warm up for about 10, 15 minutes. Um, so you're welcome to join in my warm up if that's something that works for you, or if you want to take that first 10 minutes to do whatever your own personal warm up is, that's fine as well. So I won't take it amiss if I don't see you copying me exactly. Uh, but this dance in particular, very heavy on the ankle and knees. So I don't like to go straight into it without warming up. So without further ado, Go ahead and just start moving around your space at a gentle walking pace because it's still early. If you can hear me all right, give me a thumbs up as you pass the camera just so I can see that my volume's good, 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 good. Excellent. And as you walk around, this is an excellent opportunity. I'm sure you know your space very well by now, but just have a check what objects there are that you don't want to hit. Um, any tables, chairs, Legos, and this includes the upwards direction, any light fixtures, things like that, that we just want to be careful of while we're dancing. We'll look around for those. And then let's take that walk into a little bit of a jog. Again, just gently, because it's early and we're still getting started. And as we jog, let's kick up our heels a little bit. If you're ambitious, kicking your bum. Just letting those heels go behind you. And picking up the knees a little bit. If you've been doing the race form, then this should all feel somewhat familiar. And just back to a gentle jog and slowing it down back into the walking. And we're gonna walk with knees bent. This is really good for warming up the ankles. So you've got a sort of funny pigeon ministry of silly walks going on. If you want to be walking in a circle, that's fine. I get bored of circles, so I tend to zigzag all over my room with this. Good. And walking on our tiptoes, tall as you can. And finally walking on our heels. This is my least favorite one personally, yes. And then coming back to a normal walk, and we're just gonna jog in place. Find a spot where you can see the screen. We're gonna go ahead and warm up the arms a little bit. So circling back. Buckle types don't actually do much arm work, but I still find it's helpful to get them warmed up. And then circling forwards. You're swimming the Olympic mile and butterfly. And my very favorite, one forwards, one back, whatever this means to you. I like to keep a little jog going on through this just to get my feet warmed up. But if you need to stop that, that's also fine. And whatever you're doing with one forwards, one back, reverse it, do the opposite. And stop the jog and just shake those arms out. And reaching up towards the ceiling. Stretching, you should feel a nice stretch, especially through your back on this. Really reaching your fingertips like you touch the ceiling. And take a nice deep breath up here. And then we're going to let our hands fall and our elbows fall. 
and our arms fall and our neck fall and fall at the waist and let your knees bend a little bit. We're not trying to touch our toes or anything here. We're just hanging over loose. Give yourself a little shake like you're a marionette and somebody's just dropped all your strings. Letting your knees bounce, letting your head bounce. And then imagining it, there's a nice balloon behind your belly button. We're going to inflate that balloon. This should raise you up a little bit. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Pop the balloon and you should flop just a little bit farther over. Again, hanging nice and relaxed. And breathe in, rising up a bit and pop the balloon. And this time we're gonna let our breath in, roll us all the way up to standing in your own time, rolling through your spine. And head is the last thing to come up and you should hopefully feel just that little bit taller and more refreshed. Good, moving down the body, we're gonna warm up our hips a little bit. So you're gonna get your imaginary hula hoop and circle your hips, nice big circles. And this will warm up the lower part of your spine. You wanna feel that moving around and circle the other way. And drawing a figure of eight. And see if you can draw a figure of eight the other way. I have trouble with this one. Yeah, yeah, going good. Good. And now we're imagining that hula hoops going down to our knee. One leg in the air. If you want to hold on to something for balance, that's fine. Or you can hold your ear, works quite well. And just circle like we're doing about 10 galleys in a row, circling in. And circle turning out, circling at the knee. That foot down on the ground, other foot in the air, and circling at the knee, many, many galleys. And circle back the other way. I've been dancing with Andy Richards for a while, and he has this theory that it's good to have a galley mark on the inside of your knee. That shows you're doing galleys correctly. And that foot down, other foot back up, and this time just circling the ankle. About eight times, you don't have to lift your foot as high as I am, just so I make sure I get it on camera here. And circle your ankle the other way. And that foot down, switch. Circle the ankle about eight times. And circle the other way. Good. And then last foot warm up. I like this one for Baca pipes in particular. We're just gonna take the foot and we're gonna point and then put our heel down and point and heel down. And as you place your heel down, you can do a little bend, a little plie with your standing like this. Point and heel down and point, heel down, point, heel down. This will hopefully make all those jumps we're gonna do in a little bit a lot less hard on the ankles and knees. Point and heel down. And switch feet. We're gonna go point and flex and point and flex. Point, flex, flex. Four more. Point, flex. Two and three and four. Good. And then just give a little jog, shake those feet out. Last thing we're going to do is some very gentle stretching. Again, very light because we haven't warmed up yet, really. So we're going to just do a calf stretch, putting one foot back. Leaning over your standing foot. Ideally, you want your back foot to be parallel like you're standing on railroad tracks. And you should feel this down the back of your calf. You can deepen the stretch a little bit by pushing your hips forwards. And just rocking a little bit into it. So we stretch gently and release. Stretch gently and release. Hopefully feeling a little bit deeper each time, but again, not too much. This is just the beginning of our dancing, so we're not warmed up to really seriously stretch. And change legs, other foot back. Again, finding a parallel toes like you're standing on railroad tracks. Pushing your hips forward if you want to get a bit more of a stretch. And feeling the stretch down the back of your calf muscle. And rocking just gently, so we're stretching and releasing and stretch, and release in your own time. Good. 
Next one, quans. So again, you might want something to hold on to for this or hold your ear or a friend your balance. Hand and foot. So you're picking up your toes and you're pushing back. You'll feel this down the front of your thigh. And again, just pushing and releasing a little bit. Push and release. Stretching down the front of your thigh. This was really good for taking care of your knees. Push and release. And change legs, other foot in your hands, gently push and release, push and release, push and release, push and release. Don't forget to breathe while we're doing this. Very easy to do a whole dance class, basically holding your breath. That's not what we want. We want to breathe, keep the oxygen flowing. And relax, final stretch. One heel forward, so you're taking a bow over that heel. This is stretching your hamstring down the back of your thigh. And it's almost like you're sitting back in a chair. You want to be pushing your hips back on this one. If you want to deepen the stretch, you can reach your hand towards your toe. Or if you're a super duper show off, you can put your chin on your knee. I cannot put my chin on my knee. And again, just stretching and releasing. So feeling almost like we're sitting down and standing up, feeling the stretch down the back of your thigh, your hamstring right there. And this one again is really important to help us protect that knee and make sure that joint's not gonna suffer too much from dancing back legs. Release. And change legs, other foot forwards, sitting down like we're sitting in a chair or taking a bow over that foot. Feeling the stretch down your hamstring, the back of your thigh, and deepening the stretch if you like by reaching towards your toe or reaching your chin towards your knee. And stretch and release, remembering to breathe. And stand up and just shake that all out. And take a minute now, if there's anything else you would like to warm up or stretch that we haven't done yet, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water. I encourage you to do that as well. And then we'll get started on the dance proper. Is everyone doing all right so far? You're all teeny tiny on my screen. Um, so thumbs up if all happy and good. Excellent. Grab yourself some water and go ahead and grab your pipe implements as well. We're not gonna put them down quite yet. We're going to go over some steps first. And grab a second. All right, so bucket pipes. Um, some of you may have done this before. Some of you may have done other variations before. The version of bucket pipes I'll be teaching today is loosely based on the Aska under Witchwood version um, and is sort of a mashup of steps the Bells have liked from a few different teams. So um, it's a bit from Berkeley Morris in California, a bit from Hedge Monkey Morris in Australia, I think. Um, and a few other things we found. This has been our big lockdown project is working on this dance because it's a, a solo jig, um, although you can do as a double jig. So if you're feeling ambitious later on and you have two people in your house, you can dance it over the same pair of pipes and that's always good fun trying not to run into each other. As we go today, what I'll be doing is I'll be teaching some variations on it, um, sort of ranging from very simplified to a little more complex. So I'll typically start with a simple version and then add the more complicatedness into it. At any point, if you just want to stick with the easy version while we're going over the more complicated stuff, that is always fine to do. Um, and if you need to simplify things even further, feel free, living traditions, so go ahead and make this dance your own. If you're not quite sure what to do at any point, um, you're welcome to go ahead and ask. I will try to remember to leave some gaps to ask for feedback and make sure we're doing okay. But if I'm just speeding ahead too much because I get very excited, um, forget, go ahead and um, ask Fee and she can, she can give me a prod and say, Rachel, slow down or um, put any more specific questions we have. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to move my computer so you can see my feet a little better. No this, questions yet, it's all fine. Excellent, thank you. Um, this dance doesn't really use our arms very much at all. They're just gonna hang relaxed at our sides so you don't need to see my arms as much for this. 
but feet very, very useful. So if I can put that down there. Um, I have my red sock on my right leg. My left leg is just the plain white. I'm not mirroring you. I am dancing with my actual right and actual left. So I'll look like the opposite of you. Again, if you'd like to do the dance mirroring me, if that's easier, there's absolutely no problem with starting on the other foot. I think that's what the Bampton version do anyway, possibly. Um, so do whatever makes the most sense to you today and that's all fine. Uh, there are two main steps we're gonna use in this dance. The first one that we use for most of our traveling is a sort of a ramped step. So it's going to look like this, tap, change, tap, change, tap, change, tap, change. This may be familiar to you already, especially if you do sort of more hogging traditions, tap, change. For those who this is brand new for, we'll break it down a little bit further. So without the hops, it just looks like tap, step. Go ahead and try that just a little bit. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, get and rest. So with the hops, we're basically doing hop, 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 change, hop, hop, sorry, hop, change, hop, change, hop, change, hop, change. One, two, three, one, two, change, one, two, change. One, two, change, tap, change, tap, change, tap, change. I love seeing everyone bouncing up and down. It's looking good, everyone. Change, tap, change, tap, change. Everyone happy so far? Give me a thumbs up or hands on your head if it's making no sense. Good. So most of the time that step's going to be traveling. So let's give ourselves a chance to do that. We're just gonna dance in a big circle around your room. Tap. Change, tap, change, tap, change, tap, change. Four more, one, and two, and three, and four, and rest. Excellent. That's basically half the dance, you know, right there. You're doing fantastic. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and grab your implements for making a cross on the floor. I've got some ties here, which hopefully will be nice and clear for you. You can see what I'm doing. And if you have long things like I do, I like to fold them in so they're not more than a couple feet across. There we go. And again, this is personal preference. I like to put my cross so there's an open space facing towards my audience, open space here, and then one to either side. So when we're talking about directions, we'll have away from the camera, towards the camera, to your left and to your right. Um, some people like to do it facing more towards the camera like a plus sign. Either way is fine, whatever makes sense to you. I'm going to move my son's climbing perch out of the way. Don't need to be stuck. Should be good to go. So your number one position of this dance is your position farthest away from the camera. You're going to start there, just standing ready to perform theater together. And we're going to come in with some crossbacks. So on the introduction, we're going to have basically three crossbacks. So jumping feet crossed and out, feet crossed and out, feet crossed and out, and together. And that will get ready to launch you into your first thing. So standing in our X, a little behind so you have space for the crossbacks, you've got cross and out, cross and out, cross and out together. And then you immediately take off with that ramp step dancing in a circle around your X. Depending on your space, I will typically go around my X twice. So you've got eight steps, four to go around once, four to go around the second time. If you have a big space, you can do one big circle up to you. So we've got eight steps, one and two and three and four, that's your halfway and five and six, and seven, and finishing up exactly back where we started. Good, let's do that with the cross back. So we're gonna have our intro and then coming into the ramp steps. So here we go, getting ready to go. Five, six, cross, 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 feet together, tuck, 
Step. And two. And three. And four. Halfway. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. Good. Thumbs up if that's all good so far. Hands on your head. Any questions? Lots of thumbs up. Very good. All right. That's the first figure of the dance. That's the easiest figure, I think. The other step we're going to use quite a bit is the heel toe step. So again, standing in that first bit of your X, the heel toe step is going to look like this. I'll demo for you and then we'll break it down a little more. So what we're building towards eventually is going to be that. We're moving around the X. And then the last one gets kind of funky. Heel toe, heel toe step. That's what we're building towards. But again, starting out with a simple version. So you're standing on your left foot, your right foot is free, and you're going to cross your right foot across your body. So this is into the space on the left side, cross it over, and then tap, and then put it in the out position. So it's going on your right side, out, and change feet. Now you've got your left foot free, going to cross your left foot over and tap and out and change feet. That's all it is. So again, we've got our right foot free. We're moving the right foot across our body, over, tap, out, change feet. Left foot goes across, tap and out, change feet. One more time, nice and slow. We've got our right foot, it's crossing our body, tapping next to the other foot, out, change feet, and left foot goes across, tap, out, change feet. Now, if we add the hop into it, and again, it's early in the morning, feel free to take this gently. We're basically hopping every beat. So we're going hop, 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 change, hop, 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 change, hop, hop, hop. Change, pop, pop, change. Have a quick rest, we'll do that one more time, then if anyone has any questions, we can come in with those. Give your feet a little shake out if you want. And right foot is ready again. So you're going to go hop, pop, pop, change, hop, 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 change. Hop, hop, change, hop, hop, hop. Two more sets of that. Hop. Hop, hop, change, hop, 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 change, hop, 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 last one, hop, 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 and change, and catch your breath. Good. How's that going for everyone? Thumbs up. Head, any questions? Excellent. So, if you're happy doing that in place, let's start moving it around the X. So you're starting like, just like you've started there. You've got your right foot free. Doing it together, we're going to go across, toe, out, change. That's all the same. Across, toe, out. Look at where your foot is now. Leave it there. Step into that section. So coming back to our start again, same thing. Right foot is free. We're going to go across, toe, out, change. Across, toe, out. Look at where your foot is and step into that section. That should move you one place to the left. Then we do the same thing again. Right foot goes across, toe, out. Change, across, toe, out. Leave your foot there, step into that section. Keep your balance. Right foot's free again. We should have our back to the camera now. So I'm trusting that you all are going across, toe, out. Change, across, toe, out. Look at where your foot is, step into that spot. And then we should have one more to get us home. Right foot's free, across, toe, out. Change, across, toe, out, and step. And that should have brought you all the way around. You're now back home, facing the screen. Let's try that a little bit faster. It's a little bit more of a rhythm this time. Moving round. So right foot's free, five, six, here we go. Across, toe, out, change, across, toe, out, step, across, toe, out, change, across, toe, out, step, across, toe, out, change, across.
across to out step across to out change across to out step and i see lots of faces facing the camera which is a good sign that everybody has made it home well done thumbs up if you're still happy good and like i said if you're still just figuring out the heel toe if you're happier doing it all in one bit of the x that is also fine next slightly more complicated bit is what we do on the third one of those heel toes so the way we do the dance typically we have three normal heel toes let's go ahead and do those again and we're going to stop when we get to number four and we'll break that one down a little bit more for the different variation so again right foot is free we've got across toe out change across toe out step across toe out change across toe out step this is number three across toe out change across toe out step and stop and you should now have your home spot on your left your right foot is free and this is where we're going to mix things up a little bit so the first half is going to be just the same you're on your left foot right foot's free you're going to go across toe out now it's going to get a bit different you're going to tap the space opposite you and then heel back to where it was tap next to your foot and then you're going to step across your body into your home spot and change so move back to your left one spot you should sorry your right one spot your home spot should be on your left your right foot is free breaking that down nice and slow again i'm going to turn my x a little bit so you can see what i'm doing a little better you're going across toe out opposite space out so you're just going back and forth there tap next to your foot step into your home spot change feet good move one spot back to your right slow one more time then we'll bring it up to speed a little bit if you're feeling ready you can add the hops in so just like the other figure hop on every beat so again nice and slow five six seven right foot free across toe out opposite out toe step change so if you like to count that six hops on your left foot and then right left at the end one more time a little bit faster then if anybody needs it breaking down breaking broken anyone needs it english is hard in the morning anyone needs it broken down further we can do that the right foot's free we're standing on the left a little bit faster we're going to go five six seven eight across toe out opposite out toe step change good how are people feeling thumbs up hands on your head if you need it again or have any questions i see oh did i see some hands on heads there yes hands on heads um feel free are they able to unmute any specific questions or give me a thumbs up if you just want me to demo it again slower demo again slower we can do that so again if you start with your home spot we're going to take one step to the right just so we're in the final spot as if we've been going around your right foot is free going through it slowly i'm going to turn so i face you a little bit Let's see what's going on there we're going to go across toe out that's just like the other one here's where it changes up tap the opposite spot with your toe heel back to where it was tap next to your foot with your toe and then step into your home spot step change feet so again nice and slow go back to that spot to your right right foot is free you cross your body across toe out here's where it changes opposite spot back to where your heel just was toe step home change feet so you can almost think of it like your leg is swinging around like a clock it's going like that and back to where it was and home so it's going this spot this spot this spot round 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 step up it never jumps straight across the X. Let's try dancing that once more a little faster, then we'll do a quick check in. Yeah. So you're standing on your left, right foot is free. You are going to go five, six, 
here we go. Across, toe, out, opposite, out, toe, step home, change. How's that feeling for people? Thumbs up, hands on hands. Fantastic. And once again, with uh, simplified variations, um, if you're still doing this just facing the camera, that's fine. If you want to just keep doing the heel toe step all the way through without the funky variation on number four, that also works completely fine. I think I've done a lot of talking and there hasn't been a lot of music. So what I'd like to do now is dance those two figures through that we've done. So we danced around our X and we've done the heel toe and then we'll add in the next bits. I sadly don't have a resident musician in my house. So the music is a recording by the wonderful David Pope from the Bells and he's given me a nice slow version of it. So it's a little bit harder on the calves and ankles, but it also gives your brain a little bit more time to keep up with what's going on. So go ahead and start in that beginning part of your X. You should be facing the camera, feet together, big smiles, ready for performance. Um, and this music has a very short intro, so it's going to go dun, da, 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 da. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 dum. And then we come in immediately with those three crossbacks. And just to recap quickly, we have our crossback intro, crossback, 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 feet together. Rant steps, dancing twice around your X, eight of those. And then our heel toe figure. So I should have just enough time to get into my starting space. <laughs> downside of a recording rather than a musician. You have to make them stop. Excellent. That we're considering our dry run. Now you've heard what the music sounds like. You've felt what it's like. We're going to go straight into the same thing again. Um, and then if anybody has any questions, wants anything broken down, we can do that. Let's do exactly the same one more time. Oh dear. If you hear horrible wailing, that's just my son being forced into his stroller for a walk. <laughs> Everybody okay in there? Um, yes. 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 We can wait until we go on mute. That's okay. Yeah. No. Um, All right. Here we go. It might be a little while. <laughs> getting on thumbs up if you're feeling fairly happy um give me a wave if you'd like to do exactly that again and hands on your head if you want anything broken down more and you're not quite sure what's going on in the world i see some waves i see some waves yes all right exactly the same thing once more you're doing great There we go. Find your starting spots. What well, let's do this time actually, just for fun, we'll do it twice. So we're going to dance rounds and then we've got our heel toes and then we'll go straight into the ramp step dancing round again and heel toes again. Give you double the chance to get it all in, in the same music.
yourself a quick drink of water if you need. I certainly do. While we're grabbing water, any questions at this point? Anything that you want to ask specifically? Oh. I've been teaching this to 10 and 11 year olds and they just go straight through it and I'm going, I need a rest and they're going, oh, again, again, again. Um, cool. What I'd like to do in that case, if it's okay with everybody, is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in some new figures. We're going to add the next two steps, I think, one of which is a little more complicated, one of which is very straightforward. Um, and then we'll put them all together. Again, you do what works for you. If you decide in this workshop that you just want to spend the whole time nailing the heel toe and not try to focus on other things, totally fine. If you want to learn all the figures, that's fine. And I'm just going to keep teaching figures till we run out of time, really, because there are lots we could learn. Um, so no obligation to master all the figures. Do what's most satisfying for you today. But if you've had your drink of water, caught your breath ever so slightly, we're going to go back to that number one spot in our X. Cool. So the next figure is using the ramp step again, that tap, change, tap, change. But this one we're going to move in diagonals. Again, I'm going to demo it for you and then I'll break it down. So no need to dance long, but it's what we're aiming for is going to look like this. Okay, go tap, diagonal, tap, across, tap, diagonal, tap, across, tap, across, tap, diagonal, tap. Cross, tap, diagonal. So that's the diagonals figure. Go. Breaking that down slightly. So we're standing in our beginning spot, standing on our left foot, right foot's free. We've just finished the heel toes. And we're going to tap right next to your foot. Step one spot to your right. The computer should now be on your right, facing across your X. Tap with your left. Step all the way across your X and turn around to face where you've just come from. So you should now be with the computer on your left, your right foot is free. Tap with your right foot in the same part of the X you're standing in. Step to your right, you should now be facing the computer. And finally, your left foot's free, tap with your left, step all the way across and turn to face where you've just come from. Your bottom should now be facing towards the computer. Now we're going to reverse that whole thing. So staying in the bit where you are, you're going to tap with your right foot, right next to your left, and step across the X, turning round, you should now be facing towards the computer. Left foot is free, tap with the left, step one spot to your left, computer's now on your left, your right foot is free. Tap with your right, step across the X, turning round, computer should now be on your right side, and finally tap with your left foot, Step into your home position. position. Home position, right foot. Position, right foot. Oh, I'm getting feedback. Oh, You're facing the computer. Oh, I get started. Thank you. Breaking that down slowly again, then we'll speed it up a little bit. If you'd like to add in the hops at this point, you can. I'm not going to, because when you're going slow, it's a little bit trickier. Right foot is free. Tapping with your right foot in the bit of the X you're standing in, step to your right. The computer's on your right hand side now. Tap with your left, step across the X. Tap with your right, step to your home position to your right, and tap with your left, step across the X and turn. Your bottom should now be facing the computer. Now we reverse that. Tap with your right, step across the X and turn. You're facing the computer. Tap with your left, Step to your left. 
tap with your right, step across the X and turn, and tap with your left, step to your home position. I see faces moving in the right direction, that's positive. Let's go through it just a little bit faster, still without the hops though, just so we nail that pattern on the floor. So right foot's free, tap right, step to your right, tap left, step across, tap right, step to your right, tap left, step across. Your bottom is now facing the computer, we're about to reverse. Tap right, step across, tap left, step left, tap right, step across, tap left, step left. Good. I see all the faces facing the computer in the home position. Thumbs up if you're happy with it, kind of at that speed, if you've got the basic pattern of it. Rachel. Yes. Yeah, we've just been asked um, if you are able to do any teaching with your back to the camera. I know that you said to begin with that, um, that you'd be facing the camera, but I just had that inquiry on the chat. Yes, I can do that. Okay, thank you. Cool. Um, quick question for whoever asked that one. Would you like the earlier figures demoed that way as well? Um, we'll finish this one, but we can go back and do that, or just this figure. So that was Chris. You asked that question. If you want to respond into the chat and I'll tell Rachel. Cool. We'll go ahead, I'll demo that for this figure and then if you'd like it for the earlier figures, we can come back to that as well. Okay, thanks, but I'll wait for that response. Yeah, cool, thank you. Demoing the same thing, this time my back's to the camera. So my right leg is your right leg, my left leg is your right leg, your left leg. Yes, right and left. So we've got our right foot free. We're going to tap with the right. Step to the right, tap with the left, step across the X. Tap with the right, step to the right, you should now be in your home position. Tap with the left, step across, and you're now opposite your home position, now we reverse. Tap with the right, step across, tap with the left, tap with the, left. Tap with the right, step across, tap with the left, and step to the left and all going well you should now have got right back to where you started standing on your left foot with your right foot free let's go ahead and do that a little bit faster adding in the hops this time i'll stay in this position with my back to you for now so again my right is your right my left is your left and i can't see what you're doing so i'm envisioning you all doing it amazingly perfect so let's get a nice slow rhythm we'll go five six here we go. Right, step right, tap left, step across, tap right, step right, tap left, step across, tap right, step across, tap left, step left, tap right, step across, tap left, step left. Have a quick breather, we'll do the same again and then pause for feedback and breaking anything down. So once again, right foot is free, five, Six, here we go. Tap right, step to the right, tap left, step across, tap right, step right, tap left, step across, tap right, step across, tap left, step left, tap right, step across, tap left, step left. And you're home, right foot is in the air, facing exactly where you started. Thumbs up if you're pretty happy with that. Hands, oh, give me a wave if you just want to do that again, but don't need things broken down. Hands on your head if you need anything demoed or have questions. I had, um, had an inquiry um, if you will do any of the earlier steps again. I can do the earlier steps again, okay, absolutely. Thank you. Let's go ahead, just so we get a chance to ingrain that step in our muscle memory. Let's try just that step with music. We can go back and we'll go through the earlier steps again. I'll do those with my back to the camera just so you get the different perspective on those. Then we'll put the whole thing together. Sound good? Excellent. All right. See if I can find the right spot in the music for that. So you're going to stand. Do people like it with my back to the camera? Shall I stay that way for the demo now? Yes. Excellent. I'm not sure where in the music exactly I'm starting here, so we may have a little bit of time before we come. My apologies. 
colors. Didn't raise up my music like I thought I did. So, oh, I know what we can do. Standing in your home spot, for you that's facing the camera, for me that's back to the camera, we're going to have one A and then we're going to come. feeling thumbs up if you're pretty happy with that um give me a wave if you'd like to do that again now um otherwise we'll go back and we'll redo the earlier steps with my back to the camera and then we'll dance all of the figures we've learned so far cool we will do that so quick recap i'm gonna go through the first one very quickly because that one i think is pretty straightforward but again feel free to jump in if any questions, then we'll break down the heel toe a little bit further. So you're starting in your home position. For you, that's facing the camera. For me, my back's to the camera. There we go. And the first thing we do is eight of those ramp steps, just the same as we've been using for the diagonals, but we're dancing round the X. So your right foot's free. And you're just dancing. I like to do two circles. You can do one or two. Tap, tap, step, tap, step. step. Tap, that's halfway. Tap, step. Tap, step. And you should be finishing that in your home position, facing the camera, right foot is free, ready to go into the heel toes. Heel toes, we'll go through slowly once, including the funky figure at the end, and then we'll do it, speed it up. Again, if we need to interrupt, we can. So your right foot is free. You're going to cross your body, so it's going towards your left. Tap next to your left foot and out, so it's going towards the spot on your right. Change feet, left foot is free. Cross your body, tap out and step around. Your camera should now be on your left side. Your right foot is free again. You're going to go across your body, tap out, change feet, across your body, tap out and step around. Your back should now be to the camera. Your right foot is free. Across your body, tap, out, change. Across your body, tap, and out, step around. Your camera is now on your right, as is your home spot. Sorry, home spot's on your left. Um, right foot's free. You can repeat the same again, but if you'd like to do the more complicated variation, you're going to go across, tap, out, tap diagonal, Heel, tap, step home, change feet. Going through that all again, a little bit more of a rhythm this time. We've got our right foot free. We're going to go across, tap, out, change, across, tap, out, step left, across, tap, out, change, across, tap, out, step left, tap, out, change, across, tap, out, step left, here's a different one, across, tap, out, opposite, out, tap, step home, change feet. How is that for everyone? Thumbs up if you're happy, hands on your head if you'd like it broken down again. I see many thumbs up, I see many thumbs up. Excellent. One more question. Thumbs up if you'd like me to stay with my back to you, if that's easier. Thumbs up if you did actually prefer me facing you. No, excellent. I'll stay with my back to you for the demos. So 
What I'd like to do now is go through the whole dance that far. And then I think we'll have time to add in probably one more figure. The next figure is super duper simple. Um, and then we'll see how we're doing for time after that. So whole thing, we start with our cross backs, feet together, jump, ramp step, going twice around our X, heel toe step, optionally moving round, optionally with the funny variation at the end, and diagonals. Baka pipes from the very beginning, standing in your home spot, feet together, ready to come in. <laughs> once more then we'll have questions and then if anybody needs anything broken down we can do that so same again starting in your home spot um, one thing I should have said earlier but I'll say now my philosophy for dances like this is better never than late if you're doing a figure and you get completely tangled up and you're not sure where you are go back to your home spot stand there proudly have a little think about the next figure and then you're ready to just start on that one rather than trying to catch up and fit all the steps in which just gets you more and more confused um it'll look like part of the dance you're just having your rest so at any point always find a reset get your head in gear and then come back in with the next figure when you're ready <laughs> Done people's heads in yet. How are we feeling? Ready to add in one more figure? Yes, yes, maybe. Excellent. Let's add the next one. You'll like the next one. The next one is super easy. So, once more, you're back to your starting position. For you, that is facing the camera. This figure is basically a back to back. You're going to imagine that your ex is your beautiful Morris dance partner. Across, and you're going to start by moving to the left. We're using two ramp steps. So I'll demo for you and then we'll break it down. It's going to look like this tap, step, tap, step, cross, step, cross, step. You can add a chance. Tap, step, tap, step, cross, step, cross, step. You have to jump. I just realized I think I go out of the So I'll move so you can see a little bit better. Feel free to yell at me if at any point I'm doing things off screen because my back's to you. I may not always notice. Let me do that one more time for you. So we're going to tap, step, tap, step, cross, feet together, step, tap, feet together, jump. So breaking that down, standing in your home position. As always, your right foot's free. 
you're going to need to scoot a bit on these rent steps. So you've got one rent step to get you all the way across your exit. It should now be behind you, sort of on your right hand side. Next rent step you're going to use to move across the top or the bottom of your X. You're going to go across, step, back. We have cross backs to scoot us back. So we're going cross, back, cross back. Your X is now in front of you on your left. Feet together. And then you've got a big jump to get you sort of back into your home position. I like to cheat a little bit and not go all the way back to home. Because now we're going the other side of our X. This time, a little bit easier if you start with your left foot. So your left foot is free. Again, you've got one ramp step to get you all the way to the other side of the X. Tap, step. One ramp step to get you across the top of your X. Tap, step. And two cross backs to come home. Cross back, cross back, feet together. Big jump home. That's your back to back figure. We'll do that a little bit quicker, then we'll have any questions. So you're standing in your home position, right foot's free. Five, six, here we go. One step across, one step across, cross back, cross back, feet together, the jump, starting left, tap, step, tap, step, cross back, cross back, feet together, home. How was that for people? Thumbs up if you're totally happy. Hands on your head if you need it broken down. And give me a wave if you just want to do it again a couple times. Do it again a couple times. All right. Same thing again. So we're standing in our home position on our X. Right foot's free. We're going to be moving to our left like we're passing a beautiful partner by the right shoulder. The right foot's free, five, six, here we go. Tap, step, tap, step, cross, step, cross, back, feet together, jump, starting with the left, tap, step, tap, step, cross, back, cross, back, feet together, jump. Good. And this figure, I think the only tricky thing about it to me is this is the only figure in the whole dance where we start anything with the left. So that can do your head in a little bit. If you start on the right, not disastrous. It just makes dancing across the top a little bit trickier. One more time. Right foot's free. Getting ready to dance to our left. Five, six. Here we go. Tap, step, tap, step. Cross, step, cross, step. Feet together. The jump. Starting left. Tap, step, tap, step. Cross back, cross back, feet together, good job. And take a deep breath and rest. Good. How are people feeling? Um, let's see. Thumbs up if you feel like you're ready to go through the whole dance. Not that you have to nail it yet. This isn't the performance. Um, give me a wave if you want to go through the back to back one more time. And hands on your head if you have any more specific questions. I see many thumbs ups. Cool. Unless I'm missing any waves, we'll do the whole thing. So, pole dance, quick recap. Ramp steps, dancing round the X, first figure. Heel toe step, diagonals, and back to back. And then, happily, the next thing we do is we repeat the heel toe step, and we repeat the diagonals. So we're gonna do all of that. And once again, if at any point you get lost, find your home spot. Take a deep breath, reset, and you're ready to join us on the next figure. And I forgot to come in. Let's do that again. Thank you. 
sort of happy with that. Um, hands on your head if you'd like to go back to any specific bit and break it down. Cool. We have ooh, about five minutes left. So I don't think we're going to do the hopscotch figure today. Fun as that would be. I think we've had a good amount. So all that's left to add on to the dance, you already know. The way we're going to do it for our full dance through, and then you'll get a rest until your next workshop. Everything we've just done, and then the end, we have one more set of those heel toes at normal speed, and then one set at double speed. So lots and lots of heel toes, finishing with your arms in the air, standing on one foot if you've got your balance, with a big proud smile so the imaginary pub can applaud you. So, any questions before we try the whole thing all the way through? No. All right, let's do it. Recap, we have dance around with the right step, heel toes, diagonals, back to back, heel toes again, diagonals again, heel toes again, heel toes again, but faster. And then you get a well-deserved rest. Here we go. <laughs> of applause for getting through Baca pipes, probably the equivalent of about 10 times in the space of an hour, which is no mean feat of endurance. 
Um, and I think that just about brings us to time. I know we have a few minutes before we have to close for the next workshop. So if anybody does have questions or anything at the end, happy to chat very briefly before Polly and Infi have to kick us out for the next thing. Um, but now officially concludes the back of pipe speaking, so you can leave without it being awkward. Um, do, if you're not going straight on to another workshop, I highly, highly recommend repeating those stretches. Stretch your knees, stretch your ankles. Hello, Freddie. Freddie can come in. Basically done. Um, don't forget to stretch your knees. Well, thank you for it tomorrow, if not later in the day. Um, massive thank you to uh, Rachel Cole Wilkin and her uh, musician on, recor on the recording, David Pope, both from Bells of London. So if everyone could just unmute themselves and give Rachel a round of applause. And for yourself, yourself.